Hello and welcome to what is episode six of the podcast, The Mad Englishman with the Little Guitar and the Big C. <laughs> so I'm not even remembering the title of it now. Um, and with myself and Wendy Lilly again. So um, the episodes one to five were obviously, uh, were obviously up on the site. Um, the last episode, episode five, was about managing expectations for both the treatment and the post-treatment. And uh, one of those expectations really was how long the side effects will last. Um, especially in my case, the, uh, the, the, the mucus and the, and the difficulty swallowing, um, I felt should have been over about six to 12 weeks or it may be longer, it may be permanent. It had to be as vague as that, really, because everybody's different. So so um, that's not too surprising. Um, I think I said last time that uh, I'm indebted to to Jen, my dietitian, who suggested that, that perhaps some of the problems I was having might be due to um, uh, some lymphedemia and that and the draining my lymph nodes might help. Um, she referred me to the NHS team, um, and that was in something like last October. Inevitably, there's quite a long waiting list for that. Um, so, um, faced with a three-month waiting list, I broke one of my cardinal rules and uh, went onto the internet and um, entered the world of manual lymphatic drainage. So, so this is an episode um, devoted purely and simply to that topic because it's uh, I think it's made quite a big difference to, to my to my experience so I thought I'd, I thought I'd share that with you um, inevitably by by dabbling on Google I instantly became a leading world authority on manual lymphatic drainage at least inside my head and then uh, then gradually got that put right by the experts so during the three month period between October and January, um, I, I, I found um, a, a good localish therapist and, um, and I really think it's quite important that, that if, you, if you want to find a, 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 a I'm putting in inverted commas, proper um, lymphatic drainage specialist, then you need to go through um, um, manual lymphatic lymphatic drainage UK, I think something like that. that. That's the that's the trade association, if you like, and that that was the reason for that. If you just go onto Google and look for lymphatic drainage, there are a lot of, I would say, sort of beauty based um, lymphatic drainage um, people who who um, aren't quite qualified necessarily quite qualified to the same degree that a uh, that a um uh, somebody that can work more in the medical in the medical field so um that's the mld uk if you google that that will that will bring you up the um the the, the specialist um it, it, <laughs> Is it, it? It's obviously something that, that that's affected quite affected quite badly by by the particular head and neck cancer treatment. Is it? Is it? Is it something that crops up a lot for for other cancers? Yeah, um, a lot of ladies have uh, lymphedema after breast surgery uh, or treatment for breast cancer. That seems to be a common, um, yeah one of the common sort of, um, if you'd call it a long time, yeah, it would be a long, long term side effect, wouldn't it, of cancer treatment. Um, and occasionally I've, I've, um, I've met people that have had lymphedema on their legs as well. Um, so yeah, and that can be caused by cancer treatment or, or yeah, I've, I've known people that have had lymphedema because of other things, but yeah. I, I, I hadn't until you said about it, Mick, met anybody who'd had lymphedema around the neck area, but obviously it is something that um, is an issue for a lot of people. So, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't think I'm, I don't think when I look at, at, at some of the sort of examples of people around with lymphedema, I'm not sure that I've got, you know, a, fa a fantastically bad case of it. But I think we probably all 
have it to, to some degree or another, um, particularly if you've had if you've had the sort of treatment that we have. So, mm. so and because it's such a such of it, it, so much of it is a, is a self help basis. You can you can do so much of it yourself. But I think it's worth just 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 looking at it in a bit more detail. Yeah, and it's good to be aware that it could be a, a side effect and to look out for it. Because, like you say, people probably have it without knowing. Um, put the symptoms down to other things, and like you say, it, it was Jan that noticed yeah. that your, you know, concerns and issues that you had were down to lymphedema potentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I think I think it really is worth is worth having a bit of a look at. Um, so, uh, j just to give give a sort of a balance on that. Um, since January, I've I've. I've been seeing the NHS lymphedemia clinic. In fact, I saw I, I went I went yesterday and, and, and saw them. And uh, and Helen and Keo and her colleagues there are are, are really obviously <laughs> at least as good as 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 sort of you know private specialists and, and you get a, a really broad range of options with them. So so I recommend um talking to the oncologist and if you think it might help then then get yourself on the waiting list for that but I'll more about that later so so you'll be pleased to know that where last episode had a biology lesson and a chemistry lesson this one's got a biology lesson and a dt design technology so we're going to be looking at products and things so, so but uh mainly i hope be a big slug of common sense so on to uh, biology two questions really what are lymph nodes and why are we looking at them so here's picture one which is uh not actually a photo of my varicose veins but it does look like it might be that but it but it does show the lymphatic system and that we've all got in our in our body and it's a key part of our immune system um it basically removes fluid and waste from from the body um two elements to the uh to the to the, the the lymphatic system the first one is the lymph nodes themselves of which we apparently have about 600 of them in our in our body um and they contain lymphocytes which are white blood cells which attack any viruses and that sort of thing and uh, and and break them down and then they're carried through the lymph vessels which are effectively the sort of the veins of the uh, the the channels of the of the lymphatic system and that carries the waste into two drain points in the veins um either side of the neck really for some strange reason i think i think the um the um the lymphatic system in the rest of the body drains into i think the either the left a vein in either the left or the right side of the neck and the the head and neck complex drains into the one on the other side of the neck um, and then they go from there through the kidneys and liver and uh, into turn into, into waste products. So there's there's the main complex, the main clusters of these of these lymph nodes are in our neck and shoulders and and in our groin. And we're not interested in groins here, are we? So we we'll stick with we'll stick with the much safer area of head and necks. So you can see from the picture there that that it's it's this area that that is where the um, is where the main issues are so if we move on to picture picture two this shows um a few things really it shows that the 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 head and neck is a is 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 a really complex interconnected system as it is with with lots of other things you know this is why you know we can be in nose and throat as a as a specialism i would guess um but also, you know, as as you will well know, this is the area that's hammered by the, uh, the 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 sort of fairly brutal radiography, and that in turn starts to answer why why we're 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 interested in it. So the next picture shows, which hopefully is coming up here now, shows the direction of natural flow through the lymphatic system in that area, and so it is. It's it's a downward it's a downward movement. But it's that that we need to that we need to help with the with the lymphatic drainage. So, why are we interested in it? I think the the, the problem with the lymphatic system is that if 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 the natural flow that's on that picture 
is weakened for whatever reason, then there tends to be a buildup of fluids and wastes, which results in an edema in and around the lymph nodes. And this often happens in the head and neck area. Without having had the treatment that we've had, it, it will happen anyway. So, so you know, an example of that is, is you know, when we, we feel our neck here and we say, when we're feeling a bit poorly, we say, oh, we've got swollen glands. That's what I put my, you know, for back in 2020, two whenever it was the back end of 2022 that's what i put my swollen i'll put that down to swollen glands which would have come from the flu that was going around and the covid that was going around but it is that 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 swelling that shows the lymph nodes aren't working properly to drain to drain the the, the issues that are there um so there's particular problems in that with with as you said with arms and legs and uh and and because it, particularly in the legs that's that's where it has to really fight to, mm -hmm. to because it, it, want, it wants to flow upwards and it's got to try and defy gravity and i guess you know things like elephantitis are, are sort of you know a really extreme example of that um, so as i said in our case this is um this has probably been damaged by the treatment that we had rather than rather than it, it just not functioning anyway so so whilst the specialists can can actually really do a lot of good and can show you how to do things properly um you probably i i i do it suits me to to do the, the, lymph, the lymphatic drainage twice a day first thing in the morning and uh, last thing at night um, they do say you should do it up to four to four to five times a day now you know <laughs> No specialist is going to do that for you. Be able to do that for you on a on a long term basis. So it, it is a very big, big, very big area of self help. So you can get you can get leaflets. This is a I have here a um, details of a YouTube channel which is is about uh, self lymphatic drainage and that shows you videos for doing different parts of the body and i think there's there's one of them looks like it focuses on head and neck so so that's on youtube and that's uh, that's something that is that is 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 worth looking at what they what they say is um you need to you need to do a a, a bit of relaxation stuff first and and that's that's really just to sort of move the shoulders and move the neck, just so that starts to free things up. Um, and then, then it suggests doing um, four deep breaths and, and and slowly exhaling. That's really just to try and relax the whole area so that it can work properly. The the important thing is is that as you drain these this this stuff through, you need to be able to get rid of it. And there are there are two areas where there's there's the drainage nodes, as they're called, and it's important to keep opening those because otherwise you're just going to block up behind them. Um, the first one is if you put your hands into into your into your collarbone, put your fingertips into your collarbone, and then shrug your shoulders up. You'll feel you'll feel your fingers go down behind your collarbone. Um, that's where a lot of the drainage nodes are. What they suggest is getting a, st a stress ball or a rolled up pair of socks or something like that and put that into there and just shrug that up two or three times like that and do that each side. So when you do that, that opens those drainage nodes there. Now, it's important to say at this time there are, there are a few different schools of lymphatic drainage and the MLD UK um, <clears throat> accredits all of them. Um, the two main ones are the VODA school and the VODA school um, particularly talks about um, drainage um, under the arms. So on the VODA school you take a stress ball of a pair of socks, put it into the armpit and then do what my specialist called a chicken flap. <laughs> so two three. Cool. you might want to do this in the privacy of your own home, but stick it under your arm and just do like that. And then that opens it. Um, that's that's the main 
that really is the only difference that I can see between the, the different schools of the different schools of training uh, for it. Um, the other one which the um, which the NHS follows is the one that I said where you do it in the net. So just to be on a belt and braces basis, I tend to do both of those. So, so the actual massage itself, you need to just literally move move stuff down. So when that's the flush down the side of the neck from the earlobe to the collarbone and then out towards the shoulders. So it's it's really you come come down like this and then and then out. So you can do it by you can do it by putting a finger all, both at the same time by putting one finger in front of the ear, the other finger behind the ear, and then just bringing it down. But you really only have to do it very, very gently. Um, what they say is the, the 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 vessels that you're trying to to get to, it they literally lay just under the skin, so it's between the skin and the muscle. You don't really need to keep pushing hard into the muscle like that. Just literally stroke it down. And that brings it that brings it down through like that, brings it into the collarbone, and then you drain it away like that. Okay, and you can then come down the side of the nose and do the same, come down the side of the mouth and along the jawline, down and away. And literally you're just really, really gently stroking that. And then once you've done that. Then you you go back and and then see those nodes a couple of times. You repeat that each side. So that's that that's getting it from down the side. You can do it like that and do both sides at once. That's that's quite a good way of doing it. And then just gently down and then then there's two nodes again. It's worth repeating it maybe three times, but each time you do it, you need to. Get the, some, um, bring the notes down. My particular issue is is here. Is, is that's that's where that's where I think I have a swelling, and that's where a lot of the mucus seems to seems to gather first thing. So again, that's just a question of taking that, taking it down, and around like that, and then taking it either side of the Adam's apple, and again draining it down. Into there now. As I'm doing this now, I can feel it all moving down. I can feel it all moving down past, <clears throat> as you can maybe tell by the way my voice is croaking. So, so that's basically it, really. So it's it's coming down the side of the face, coming down the side of the um, of the of the ears, and coming down under the chin and away. And then that starts to reduce the swelling, and it starts, in my case, to to reduce the the the, the, um, the uh, mucus that's there, that helps me a lot, and that helps me twice a day. So I think that is that is that is really worth doing. That's the biology lesson <laughs> over and out of the way. For anybody that did uh, that did DT at school, design technology, um, we now go on to some of the uh, some of the tools that you can help that can help with it. Um, the therapist had an absolutely fantastic machine, which I hope the picture, the picture of is coming up now. Um, and uh, <laughs> it's, it's a technique called deep oscillation therapy, which I thought might be something to do with oceanography or something, looking at the bottom of the ocean, looking for strange fish or something. But but that was that was really, really, really good. Um, and basically, you you hold an electrode, and she has an elect. She has she wears a pair of gloves that that are also connected to this machine, and then all of those movements that I was talking about, she um, she does that, and the gloves have little tiny thousands of little tiny sort of pimples on them, and they vibrate and they and they go through, and that's that's absolutely uh, it's it's really good. It's 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 expensive and the reason it's expensive is that the machine itself costs her five thousand pounds or just over five thousand pounds which is a fairly expensive way of doing it compared with did you feel it 
Oh, absolutely, absolutely, and it, and, and it comes at different different rates as well, different different um, speeds, and it, it's the only, the only issue I had about it was staying away while she was doing it because it was it was laid back and just it's really good. At the other extreme, I think I might have mentioned in a previous podcast, I bought this for for eight euros in Spain, and um, and that does a similar sort of job. I don't know if you can you can hear the, uh, the, the 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 vibration, and this is this is what I use mostly, and it's just again really mustn't push too hard with it, um, and it just literally just works mm -hmm. in the same way and then a quick chicken flap quick vibrating chicken flap and uh, and it really does start to just sort of empty things um the the, the specialists do do say use a stress ball for it as well you know you can use a stress ball exactly the same i think you know, i think the vibrating ball works works a bit better than that but uh, but cheaper still, we have the next option, which is a jade roller. Um, this is cheap, so I, I bought this for, I think it was two pounds fifty in 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 home bargains. Okay, so you know, so it's and you can get them literally anywhere. I've got no idea whether it's jade. It is actually a roller, and it does it does work quite well. It's again, you don't need to go mad and press. And these are these are sold precisely for that to sort of you know um, sling down the face I think when it's but but it does work quite well for that I mean, and if you get one with a small end as well that's quite good for sort of coming down the side of the nose and close to the ears. There are also techniques for dry brushes, which to me just look like dry brushes. <laughs> so, but that's supposed to work as well. Um, T bars again. I haven't tried T bars. They, they, I think they probably vibrate. I don't know, but they, they it works the same sort of way. And then there's there's a whole range of wooden tools that you can use, which is the uh, is is the next picture, um, and that includes there's something called I've um, no idea how you pronounce this a gua sha something like that. It looks like a, it looks like a sort of what well, looks like a weird tool actually it's, it's the one in the middle at the top of the uh, top row of the picture there um but that's supposed to be shaped so you can scrape it through but whether that's any better than, than doing that mm. <laughs> i really don't know so so those are those are the sort of tools that uh, that you can that you can you can use um, instead of it also um Particularly if you if you had it in the legs and the arms, there's 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 a whole plethora of, of compression garments that you can wear that will that will obviously sort of you know compress and will you know, uh, as you as you move around will will then keep working the, the lymphatic system to try and drain it. That's a bit more difficult in the um, when it comes to the uh, to the head and neck area. Um, there are a few things around. There is. There's um, one that is um, you can find on, on on different websites called a Hereford collar, which is it which is a, a it looks like just a normal sort of neck collar that uh, has got lots of little beads inside it. And I think that that's supposed to work to to help drain it. Um, I'm currently testing one here for uh, um, for Helen at the uh, at the Northamptonshire Lymphedemia Clinic. clinic. And uh, it's a it's a thing that looks like an unfinished polar neck jumper, really. It's it's got these um, these quite interesting sort of grooves on it here, and um, and you wear that. Um, like so. And and that that definitely seems to work. It's uh, it's. I don't think it works um, totally in its, you know, on, it, on, its, on its own. I think, I think it, it, it supports all the other stuff that they're uh, doing. Um, I've tried wearing it overnight, um, which is not very good if you've got a beard. 
And so, so that's, uh, but, it, but it might, it might work for other people. They are very, very expensive. You know, both these and the Hereford collars are around a hundred pounds, which, uh, which um, I think would be, would be quite a big, uh, quite a big outlay. But if it works and you can afford it, then, then it's fine. Um, again, when I, 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 the way I use it is I'll put it on for, for maybe 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes at, uh, at night, and, and it can just be so can just help help that. Um, but it's, it's you know it's a nice idea. So just take it off. You do other things whilst you've got that on. Oh yes, so yes, yes. You can. You can uh, Oh yes, you, you can you can you can move around and uh, and uh, you can wear it. You can wear it when, when you're out and that sort of thing. And as I was saying to you earlier, it uh, you do you do look a bit like the, um, the the woman that ran the pharmacy in Doc Martin, but uh, that is yeah, it's it's it, it it's a good idea. It'd be nice to see the prices come down and, and, and yeah, mm -hmm. use that. Um, a much um, cheaper option, which I I have actually tried yet. Um, my uh, Helen um, trained me in it yesterday at the, at the uh, Northampton Lymphedemia Clinic. Um, it's it's much cheaper. It's um, kinesio tape, and, mm -hmm. and and you actually take a strip of that and then and, and make a hammock under the chin, mm -hmm. and then just sort of stretches slightly. And uh, so I'm going to try that uh, um, later this week. See how that goes. And then the the final one really is um, photobiomodulation, um, which is which if you've had if you've had the treatment if you've had treatment over the last year or so in uh, at Northampton, then then Maz would have offered you um, the, the 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 machine. The, it, it's, it's low level light therapy, and and. Um, Northampton was taking part in a trial of it so that um, when after each radiotherapy session I, I took a trial and you, and you hold this lollipop in your hand and you and you, we, you, you put it for a minute here 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 and uh, and that was that the use of it there was to try and reduce the incidence of, of mouth ulcers and, and, and the damage of mouth um, but it but it is a treatment low level light therapy that's uh, that's used in in the world of lymphedemia as well to try and kind of drain it. So so that's uh, so so that's where that's at. Um, that's the end of the, the end of the DT. So really, just to summarise, um, lymphedemia might be a problem, but not necessarily. If it, if, it, if if you don't think it's if you don't think it's, it's going to help, then obviously it's sort of, you know, scroll on by, as they say. Um, but it just might be worth just trying it. And, it, and, it, and I don't think it's psychosomatic, but you can actually feel it draining as you uh, as you as you go through. In my case, um, there was a bit of a scare after my treatment um, because the uh, the MRI and CT scans. Um, looked like it might show that there was still there was still um, 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 some sort of some sort of growth there, but when they looked at it, when they looked at it uh, more closely with, with with the camera, it was an edema. Okay, so 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 therefore, you know, I I I there there was an edema there. I think it's I think it's going down, but I do have this lingering mucus problem. So so the uh, the the MLD referral was a good call, and um, and it has certainly reduced the swelling. It reduces the swelling on a daily basis. It then builds up again overnight because I can't particularly sleep sitting up. Um, so in order to be able to sleep, I tend to lay down, and then that builds up overnight. So it's just just become part of the daily routine, just to just to clear that through. But there are some cases where it's not advised. OK, so so they do say that you, you shouldn't do it if you've got any sign of cellulitis, which will be the sort of red, blotchy, very sore skin coming up. Shouldn't do it if you're on antibiotics. If you're on antibiotics, 
you must have an infection. So your lymphatic system is working over time anyway. So don't do it there. If your if your neck is sore in the for any for any reason, then 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 don't do it while that's going on. And it says if you if you still have an active cancer in the area. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, that's a really difficult one because you know who knows what you've got there really. So I think that's a bit ambivalent, that one. I mean, my advice would be that if you think you might have a an issue with it, then you get your monthly one-stop shops, ask the oncologist at your, at your first one-stop shop okay. or whatever, and then, then get them to get them to, to, to say. It worked for me, but but literally I only stumbled across it thanks to Jen, you know. So 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 I think it's it really is worth looking at it. Material that you can look at. Material you can look at includes um, the Macmillan book Understanding Lymphedema, and there's 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 some some very good general stuff there. Um, there are the uh, the the, the um, self lymphatic drainage videos on YouTube, and there's leaflets that you can pick up from the NHS um, from the NHS lymphedema service. And I don't know when can we can we get hold of some of yeah, these. Maybe yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So 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 that's and there and there is so much good stuff in here including the exercises what all the different types of the types of treatment are and so they, they are a big help um so really if if you've got tissues under your neck and it's hard or if there's a swelling or if there's any sort of problem then uh, then you go for SLD self lymphatic drainage but, but check the oncologist if you've got any questions or comments, um, positive or negative, on 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 all of this, really, please go on to the the. Uh, there is a, I'll get it right this time, mad Englishman with the little guitar and the big C Facebook page. So um, I'd encourage you if there's any if there's any 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 issues any any sort of discussion things you want to do, then then go on to go on to that and leave a comment on that. Um, Anything you want to add on that? No, I don't think so. I think you covered it brilliantly. Yeah, it's been a nice re refresher for me. So it was, yeah. <laughs> so it was a bit, bit, bit one sided, this one. Sorry. Yeah. But that's it. Yeah, that's just, yeah. We're, we're planning the next episode later in the spring, I think. Mm -hmm. well, we are, I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 With uh, another update on, on obviously my progress because I'm, I'm, I'm by that time, I'll be I'll be coming up to a year after the treatment, so that will be that will be worth looking at. Um, with some reports of some awareness events coming up, mm -hmm. and that you know either either you know getting ahead of them or or, or you know reporting back on those, mm -hmm. and those are specifically into head and neck cancer in the East Midlands, aren't they? Yeah. So 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 that there, there should be some good stuff in that. And then there's there's. Well, I think it's quite an exciting project that I've managed to get myself involved in at the University of Sheffield, um, looking at characteristics of DNA in HPV positive head and neck cancer mm -hmm. and how that can be used to predict the prognosis of the, the likelihood of the things returning. And even, this is the really exciting bit, even to reduce the brutality of treatment in some patients if it looks like they've got a, a better prognosis. So, so watch this space on that one because it'd be pretty quite interesting. So as they say, it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye. Goodbye from me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.